What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's video, I've got something rather cool. So if you're subscribed to a CS YouTuber called Anomaly, then you know exactly what this video is going to be about. Basically, I'll be running you through how to install and play the Noble Strike mod for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, which is effectively a Halo mod for CSGO. It adds a bunch of Halo themed weapons and adds a really cool twist on the game. As well in this video, I'll show you how to join the community so you can talk to them and sort out your issues, as well as download some Halo maps off of the workshop if you're completely new to the modding scene in CSGO. But anyways, let's get on with the video. So, assuming you'd like to try Noble Strike, there's one simple thing that we have to do. All we have to do is click the link in the description down below to join the group's official Discord. It's a Discord invite link that once clicked, will open up your Discord client and you'll be dropped onto the Noble Strike Discord. Once you're here, simply head across to the download section under installation. Then you can see the official download and install instructions right over here. They've tried to make the process as simple as possible and it is rather simple. Simply click the Google Drive download link on the Discord over here. I won't be including this in the description as if an update is pushed, it's better to get it from here. Then when you're on this page, you'll see an instructions.txt file, which is an offline version of the install instructions. Of course, I'll be guiding you through this. All we have to do is find the latest version of noble.rar, right click, and then simply click download. I'll click download anyway. And assuming for some reason there was an issue downloading it, saying that the file's been downloaded too much, simply right click and make a copy. This will make a copy into your Google Drive, then simply head across to my drive and download it from there. With that aside, I'll click on it to open it up, and all we have to do is navigate to where our CS is installed. So, heading across to Steam, simply locate Counter-Strike, right click on it, Properties, Local Files, and then Browse Local Files. When you're here, simply open up the RAR that we had with 7-zip, WinRAR, or a program like it, and extract Noble into this folder over here. Don't do anything else, simply just extract the Noble folder into here right next to csgo.exe. Opening it up, we see some files in here. If we have a look at the Discord, all we have to do is run the exe inside of the Noble folder. If the mod isn't in the right directory, it won't work. Please check, check install before actually installing it to prevent doing anything wrong, ruining your CSGO install. So, check install. This is what the folder should look like. You'll have the Noble folder right next to CSGO. And that's exactly what we have. Inside of it, we'll have these files and you'll see them over here. We're missing one of them, CSGO Noble, which I would assume generates when we launch up the actual game itself. Great. At this point, if you'd like to play in a different account, now is the time to switch. I, of course, have a lot of items in my main CSGO inventory, and even though there's probably a 0% chance of anything happening, I am going to play on a different Steam account. Of course, using a free account won't actually matter as far as I know, as you won't be able to join official servers anyway, as this is a modded client. So, I'll go ahead and swap accounts now. I'll simply select one of my alternate accounts and then click log in. This, of course, is my account switcher, which is linked in the description below. I've now logged into my alternate account and I'm ready to play the game. Simply head across to where we extracted it and open up the Noble folder. Then simply double click on noble.exe and you'll see this. So, permission to make a link between CSGO and Noble Strike for the workshop and Panorama folders. That way, they won't make you lag and you don't have to re-download them. I'll click yes. I'll give it admin when it asks for it. And there we have it. Now Counter-Strike is open. You can see the main menu is a little bit different. And to hop into some games, all we have to do is click play, select from the dropdown, and we'll select lobby official maps or lobby workshop maps, where we can go ahead and add our own maps. In the description down below are some Halo themed maps. They are Longshore, which I'll go ahead and subscribe to, CSGO Blood Gulch, which I'll also subscribe to, DE Impact, and finally, the Pit. These of course are just some of the maps and you can play any official Counter-Strike map on the CSGO Workshop or that you download from elsewhere. If it works in CS, it'll work here. So I'll go ahead and launch up say Longshore, I have Workshop Map selected and I'll simply click Go. Then I'll leave it as Deathmatch and click Go once again. So there we go, I can pick a team. And of course we have our custom guns ready. Everything's working as expected. Everything looks a bit different, even the console over here. The pause menu is mostly the same, different sounds, and if we open up the buy menu, we have some guns in here that we can go ahead and purchase. But of course, I'll leave the actual playing up to you. Now that we've set up the actual server itself, can we get our friends to join as well? Well, glad you asked. Let's go ahead and quit out to the main menu. On a second computer, I'll go ahead and log in. And there we go. I've joined the lobby on my other account. I'll simply go ahead and go to play, workshop maps, and I'll pick one of these. 
This time, I'll try the pit. Go. I'll leave it on deathmatch and go. And there we go. Now I'm in game. I've simply spawned in my other account and it's on my laptop over there. If I type something in chat, you'll see it pop up on both screens from both of my accounts. I should be able to find him somewhere. But of course, I don't know what's happening on this map. Somewhere over by B-Site is where I need to go. And here he is. This is my other account. I can wiggle on my laptop. And of course, game end him. But anyways, now you know how to play this game online with your friends, set it up and install it, as well as download some of the workshop maps that can be Halo themed. But of course, you can play quite literally any workshop map or official CSGO map with this mod installed. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something interesting in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!